Here we go guys, Toppy Pongs from the Kazan Grand Slam. We'll slow down so you can enjoy the beauty of judo. And look at this crazy Seonage, I guess, from the Georgian world champion. Here he goes again. Almost looks like he's going to get countered or, or thrown himself. Goes in for a, a kosoto, but then somehow just stays in position and gets the ippon. Don't blink, guys, or you'll miss this one. Just a wonderful sasai. And he does it off the sleeve. Usually you do it on the opposite side. Look at that. Just so beautiful. Chopano from Russia now, the gold medalist. A little bit of a bear hug mixed in with a kosoto. Beautiful work there. See so you guys, if you like this content, like, subscribe, do it now. Helps me out a lot. And uh, there'll be more, plenty more videos coming. Next up, probably one of my favorite throws of the entire tournament. Look at this Katakuruma. It's so good. Just how he gets in there and the rotation that he's able to generate. Look at that. It's off double sleeves. That's impressive. All right, the heavier weights now. And goes in for a Ochi Uchimata, but gets countered by the Hungarian. Just didn't really have the grips to go from Ochigari and was easily countered. And next up, Blue with a fabulous choke here. Look how he rolls over. He's got the arm on the leg as well. And Patrick Peter, he's forced to tap. And a big Kosoto Gake here. Both of them are turning, both kind of looking for the same thing, some of the grips. Around the back, bear hug, Kosoto Gake. It's always a good one. Left us right here. Chopanov, again. So many epons from him in this video. What a great counter. Same technique, but done differently. Kosoto Gake. Drops him for a Seuinage, doesn't get it. But White, Katharina from the Netherlands, gets a huge. I guess you gotta call this a Tani Otoshi, or is it an Uranage? Who knows? Another Kosoto Gaki here, you've seen this a lot recently. Fabio Basili lost to this a while back. Actually, no, Fabio did this to someone a while back, sorry about that. But it's a great grip and go technique. Heavyweight to gain here, and Cho from Korea gets countered with a Kosoto, oh, sorry, a Kochigari. Kind of an odd position, usually want to be more on the side, but gets it anyway. And guys, I want to call this a Tani Otoshi, but it's probably a, a Kosoto. Just the way these guys are doing it with the knee, getting it behind there like that. I'm not sure, what do you think? What's it called? Big Ogoshi here from the Georgian. As you'd expect from a Georgian fighter. Big hip techniques. Oh, and I love this one. This sore, this drop sore, but just the grip he's got on the tricep. I think that's really unique and a really nice way to do it. Beautiful. Also, the daddy here as he's moving forward. All that weight on the front leg there. Boom. All gone. On your back. And kind of a interesting uh, reverse Seoinage here. A little bit of a flick. Stabs him for a Kochi. Turns it the other direction. Gets a beautiful Uchimata. Look at that. Such talk. And this also goes to Wazari, but he's straight on the arm. And I love these transitions from Tachiwaza to Nawaza. I don't put that many uh, Nawaza highlights in here, unless they're really special, and that one was. And look at this, a standing sode. You don't see standing ones that often. It's usually a drop sode, but he has the hand on the back, and then he moves it to the sleeve. Beautiful work. Drops him for a Seoi, stands up, goes for a Kochi. Just waits for the guy to call Ippon. He's already got the leg in there as he's standing up. Great Ippon there. 
Righto, next up. Chapanov again. And just showing his beautiful timing with his Uchimata. Has that inside grip with his left hand, so he's always in control. He's got the sleeve, he's got the grips he needs. Just needs to stab his leg in there. Beautiful work. And an interesting Ochigari here. Kind of doing it as you're turning around. I always find this really hard to do, but some people are really good at it. There's an Italian guy who's really good at it. Dropping down double. Drop down Sioi Nagadea. Always good to go on the second time. Oh. Man, I really want to know who that Italian guy is now. He beat Nagase a while back. Someone let me know. And a beautiful Uchimata Skashi. Almost looks like he was going to go over. So he goes in for the Ochi, turns it into an Uchimata, and White just knows what he's doing. Rolls with it. Try to put him now. There's a driving Uchimata. Kind of lots of pressure on the head. It's not much of a leg technique, this one. Just good grips, pushing down with the head and then rolling over. It's a great way to do it. Now there are Uchimatas I like and there are Uchimatas I don't like and this is one I don't like. Just, I don't like how people fall on their necks sometimes. It just looks dangerous to me. But... I don't know, it's more white's problem than blue's I think. That's a tiny Otoshi. Come on, look at that. It's a tiny Otoshi, right? Looks like a Kosoto, but he's dropping down. And he's kind of... Yeah, that's a tiny Otoshi. That's so well done. Murao now, a couple of Ippons from Murao. And this time, nice Ashibarai. Turning the corner and he's stabbing that arm in the armpit. Goes for the, the far leg instead of the close leg. Left first left here. A little step before going in with the Osoto. That's really hard to do. Get an Osoto like that. Especially when it's two high level guys. They know it's coming. And look at him. He's ready to defend it but he just can't. That's pure technique there. Murao again here, and showing his amazing Osoto. To be honest, I think Blue was out of position. Shouldn't have his left foot forward. See that left foot forward there? But his, his right hand is his top grip, right? So, yeah, I don't like that at all. See Murao, he's got his left foot forward, and his left hand's going for his top hand. That's the way to do it in my opinion. Nagase does it too, but in Europe they seem to teach it the other way around. I mean, it's it's one way to defend the overhand grip, but uh, I think this is a better way. I'm just rambling now. Sorry guys. Sorry. Anyway, back to it. Beautiful Seoi Nagi coming up. Boom. Nikon. This guy from Russia, Vashayev. He, like... He's got strong shoulders and arms to bring a guy like that over. Speaking of another strong guy from Uzbekistan. Not going to try and pronounce his name. We are dropping in with a... It looks like a Sode, but the way he's bending his elbow kind of makes it like a Morote Seoi Nage, but it is a Sode. Here's another Sode, done in a similar fashion. And it was an Epon, even though there was a little scramble after that. Hand on the sleeve, grip and go. That's the way to do it. Beautiful Osoto counter here. Jordan must be ecstatic about that. Yeah, so he had the grips to counter it. Going for the pickup. Nice kind of Uchimata, almost a Yagura Nage, but turns it into an Uchimata. Hopping. Right over the top now for Blue. Goes in for a Koto Dogake, but White picks him up. Yagura Nage. It's a great way to defend um, Koto Dogake, now that I think about it. 
especially if you've got the hand around the belt like that. Beautiful technique. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What are we going to call this technique, guys? Is it a Tani Otoshi? Is it a Kosoto? No. Definitely not a Kosoto, but I, I know it has a name. It's, it's a sacrifice throw. It's just uh, not on my mind right now. We'll call that a Sasai, even though he's kind of dropping as he goes down. Yep. Avoids the, the Osoto and steps and counters. Beautiful Seoi Nage by the Korean. They always have such good Seoi Nages. They train it so damn much. Look at that. Right, around the back now. And that's way too long to have that grip, but gets counted for it anyway. Big kind of pick up Osotogari. But look at Blue, this is way too long to have this grip. Four, five. I mean, isn't it three seconds? Okay, now lift us right, hand around the back, steps in, fakes, and then turns it into Squeenage. Beautiful work. There's one fake. There's another fake. But you know, it's these, uh, Simple principles, you know, go forward and then go backwards, you know, fake going forward and then go backwards. Fake going backwards and then go forwards, you know, it's so simple, but in practice it works. And this is just crazy. I have no idea what to call this. Let's have a look at it again. So Blue goes in for a Sode, but he's in an awkward position. Tries to pick him up and then White just dicks him with a Kosoto, a Kochi Makikomi, is that right? Some things I just I just can't explain, guys. This I can explain. Look at that big Ipon Seominage. Love a standing one. Left hand on the lapel. Steps in. Fast. And a little bit of a lift with the leg to help him over. Great Ipon there. Low position now, so you know what's coming. And Uchimata. So if you're dropping your head down like that, it's just so easy for people to step in, get the Uchimata, a little bit of a rotation, a little fake there. There we go, some hopping, over he goes, blue is the, the shorter judoka too. Too easy. Here's another Uchimata with a bit more lift by the Russian, Yats, who had a great match against uh, on a show here at the Worlds. So he's a bit of a problem. Ono had some some difficulty with him. Now this is the kind of Uchimata I like. Look at that. Notice as he uh, as he gets the grip, he's the sleeve is already towards his body here, and so going in is is just easy for him. He doesn't have to pull. The arms already attached to his body. So he just launched himself in there. Another Uchimata now. So hopping and turning in a circle. It's not the prettiest looking thing in the world, but it works. Just do what works, guys. So we've got five or six more Epons to come, guys. And if you you've stayed with me this far, I hope you've subscribed, I hope you like the video. Helps me out a lot. Two hands on the one side, going in front of Osoto. Beautiful work. Big boys now, and this is just kind of funny to me. Blue just could not stop this weight, this forward pressure. Just really digging in with that Ochigari. That's hard to stop. Now this Ujimata could have been amazing, but just at the end of it, Blue found a foot on the ground here, just kind of stopped him going over completely, or in a more 
powerful way, I should say. But nonetheless, a good Ippon. Another beautiful Uchimata here. It really was the Grand Slams of Uchimatas, I think. Murao had some. Japano from Russia had some. A lot of guys with Uchimata. And I think this is the only Tomoinage in this uh, video. I should have put it earlier, I think. But left on right. Going to the, the right side, stepping in. Good timing. And this is the last Ippon, guys. I guess it's a Sore Suri Komigoshi, but manages to wrap his hand here around the back. Have a look at it again. I don't know why Hashimoto doesn't do it this way. I don't know why he never grabs the back. Maybe it's his, his pride, his ego. He's like, I'm using one hand. Screw two hands. I don't need them. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thanks a lot. I'll see you later.